In this Quick Start Bin Tracking video, we're going to download, install, and activate bin tracking, enter our license code, configure our options, create the bins, and then take our stock on. And we're going to discuss the two different methods that you can use to take your stock on. To download bin tracking, go to orchid.systems, log in, and then in the product download area, select the version you're after, in our case 2022, and then download the module. And after downloading, you can go to install the module. Since mid-2021, all our supported modules only prompt you for the serial number and activation code when you activate the module in a company database. And then open the Sage 300 company which you want to activate bin tracking in. Go to Admin Services, Data Activation, and select bin tracking. If you are activating in a company for the first time on this site, you will now need to go and enter your serial number and activation code. If you have this option in IC turned on to delete the history during posting, it is advised you turn this off as bin tracking maintains its history from the IC history. To turn it off, go to IC Setup Options and deselect this option. Prompt to delete during posting. And then in bin tracking, go and enter your license. If you are activating for 30 days, you can just click save after keying your serial number. If you have your activation code, you can key it in now too. And if your details are correct, you are prompted to re-log on to get your icons. For the bin tracking setup, you need to configure your options, assign optional fields that you want to use at the bins, bin transfer header or bin transfer detail level, create your bins, and then in admin services, assign your security groups for bin tracking. There are also visual process flows if you want to use the bin tracking visual process flows. A visual process flow for the stock take and a visual process flow for recording transactions. In the options, for each of the IC, OE and PO transactions that create a stock movement, you need to configure the way you want the bin transfer document to work. In this case, for your IC receipt, do you want the bin transfer document to be automatically created during posting of the IC receipt, or only created automatically if there are items with bins on the IC receipt, or will it be created manually? And then you need to say for this particular document, do you want the status to be not ready, or do you want it to default to being ready for pick and put away? The status defines the color red or orange on the pick status screen. This is an IC receipt, so it's a put away. How do you want the bin to be allocated? Manually, or do you want it to be auto put away, or auto put away and the document automatically completed? And if you are doing auto put away, what are the rules? Is it the last bin you picked from, the last bin put away to, or the bin setup order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where 1 would be preferred to 2, 3, 4, 5. And when you're recording and posting the source transaction, do you want the bin transfer document to pop up automatically? Yes or no? And do you want the document to be order completed? Yes or no? And if there are non-stock items on your source transaction, do you want them on the bin transfer? Yes or no? 
and normally you'd set all your put away type records the same and your shipment or pick type records the same. And just as we could set the rules for the put away, we can set the rules for the pick type documents, auto pick or manual or auto pick and complete. And if you are auto picking, what is the basis for the auto picking based on your most recent put away or your least recent put away or your bin setup pick order one, two, three, four, where one would be preferred to two, three or four. Do you want the bin transfer document to pop up when you are posting the document, the source document? And do you want it to auto complete where, if all the bins are filled in? And normally you would have the same rules for all your pick documents. So the IC shipment, OE shipment, assembly for the raw materials, they're picked. And the same rules for your putaways, IC receipts, PO receipts, and your assemblies for to put away the finished goods. On the processing tab, you define your document length, whether or not you allow negative quantities, whether or not you allow the bin transfer document to complete it when the quantities don't match the source document. You can elect to have a filter or a mask for those items which you do or don't want to bin track. So you may want to ignore all promotional materials. And then you go ahead and create your bins. Per IC location, you define whether or not you're going to bin track that location. So we are going to bin track location one, and then you enter your bin codes. The bin number can be up to 10 characters long, have a description, you can define whether it's active or not, a temporary bin or not, whether you allow all items or only the specified items below in that bin. If you are picking by pick order or put away by put away order, you can define what the pick order is and the put away order, whether or not you allow receiving into this bin, picking from this bin. And if you want, you can specify a quick bin code instead of having to key the full bin number and define your optional fields. You can export this example bin code for location one as an example and then use Excel to create the bins, all the bins required for all the locations and then import that resulting spreadsheet. We can open up that spreadsheet, turn on bin tracking for locations one, two, three, four, create all the bin codes for all the locations, location one, location two, and so on. And then import the bin codes. Location two, three, four and of course one. We have seen how to download, install and activate bin tracking, entering our serial number and activation code, and we've configured the options and created our bins. Now we need to think about taking on our opening stock balances. And this will be different depending on whether IC has been live for some time and you're now taking on bin tracking, or if you're taking on IC and bin tracking at the same time. First we'll look at taking on bin tracking at the same time as IC. Here you would enter the IC transaction for the take on balances. This might be an IC receipt, a PO receipt or an IC adjustment. And when this document is posted in ICPO, Bin tracking will automatically create the bin transfer document to support that transaction. It will have all the items on, plus all the quantities on, and then you can go ahead and enter the bins. Here we're going to create an IC receipt to record our initial stock take on.
and when we go ahead and post that receipt, bin tracking will have created a bin transfer document accordingly. And when we open this up, and we can go ahead and fill in the appropriate bin. The reason the bins weren't auto allocated is because I had set to auto allocate our put away bin based on the last uh, bin the item was picked from and we haven't yet picked any items. So the initial put away needs to be manual. And if this quantity is to be put in multiple bins, we can specify multiple bins here. So this might be a quantity of 50 and 50 in bin A01 or 102. When bin tracking recognizes the quantity is fully put away, it suggests you want to complete it, which I can go ahead and say yes and in which case that document will drop off this uh, status screen next time it is refreshed. We have just seen how you can take on your bin count when you are taking on your quantities per item per bin at the same time as you're taking on your quantities per IC location. We did an example looking at an IC receipt. But if your IC is already live and you have balances in your IC, there's two ways you can take on your opening bin stock take. You can either do an IC stock take, bin tracking will generate a workbook automatically to match the stock take. You can enter the quantities per bin and then post the bin reconciliation, which will create a bin transfer to support the increases in your stock levels per bin and then you can just delete the IC workbook because you're not actually going to use that to adjust your IC stock. Or you can create a bin transfer document. Do not link it to any source document in IC OE or PO and just do a put away for all your item quantities slash bins. And this is what I'm going to give you an example of now. There are other videos on our website of doing an IC stock take, so have a look at those if you want to see how that process works. To get my opening stock levels, I'm going to use a template in my location details to export the current stock levels. And then massage these details onto one of the take on sample templates that you'll find in the import templates folder. And I'm going to use this sample template for putaways. And you paste your details on this tab here, the transfer details tab. And then go to your bin transfer document and import that file. So this is your take on stock, which is not associated with any source document. And you can complete the document. After taking on the data, in the item and bin inquiry, you will have all your stock levels with the stock quantities per item per bin per location. And we've now seen how to take on our stock balances both at the same time as a source transaction from IC and taking on after IC has been live for some time by importing a bin transfer document that is not associated with any source transaction. Thanks for watching this quick start video on bin tracking. Please go to our website to see more information, for example, videos on using bin tracking, 
configuring bin tracking, and other bin tracking tips and tricks, as well as the sample cubes for bin tracking using Info Explorer.